All right, what's going on everyone? It's Tristan and basically today in this video what I'm doing now I'm gonna get in that second, but y'all notice, you know, I've been putting up the numbers lately You know, we got the new desk. We got the new stuff We've been we've been doing that lately, you know, we've been getting to it and today I'm gonna teach y'all how you can exactly do that I'm teaching you guys how to resell some of the methods I've been using recently that are just popping right now that can make you a ton and I'm using them right now and well They're working out very nicely and I'm just gonna show you all exactly how show you what I've done um, and actually show you guys like this isn't like a cap like I'm actually doing this and like I'm gonna show you guys some of the progress I've made and like basically what I've been doing the methods like in detail here so you can do it yourself So yeah, that's what I want to do just bring you guys another reselling video because today I felt like I was in that mood I want to help you all out and you guys requested this especially so that's what we're doing so I hope you guys will enjoy this video if you want more content like this Please go ahead subscribe and also drop a like in this video So you can get more than 100 likes in this video because I know more than 100 y'all gonna watch this Which I appreciate every day and also go ahead comment below and also follow me on Instagram in the description all that I'll have my links there if you want to follow me. I'll let some of y'all have to follow back for sure if you just DM me. But yeah, we're gonna get into this reselling video. I'm gonna teach y'all how to do it, show you guys uh, some step-by-step -step methods and some other ways so you guys can resell. Yeah, let's get started. Okay, look, I'm about to drop the sauce, all right? I'm about to do it. I regret saying that. Nah, but for real, I'm actually gonna teach y'all here really where the hype is right now. Where actually most of my reselling I, I've been doing is, it's all gonna make sense. Like once you look at my reselling page, and this isn't just the video, this video is not me running a promotion for my reselling page, all right? That, that would be stupid. I'm actually gonna be explaining stuff here, and I promise you, but if you wanna go check it out, it's in the description, all right? Just gonna put it there, cause why not? But if you all don't notice, the hype right now is with like small accessories. Like you can get your hands on small accessories. When I'm talking about small accessories, I'm talking about Supreme stickers, uh, Supreme accessories dropping this fall winter 19 season, past Supreme accessories. Anything like that. If you can get your hands on any Supreme stuff like that, Bape accessories, I mean, I would say go for the stuff that's really like trending right now. And notice right now, the stuff that's hot is these Travis Scott cereals. You know these ones? I've actually been getting a bunch of these and I've been flipping them. And I'm gonna show you all the method I've actually been using. I've been I've been making like $100 a day, $200 a day, literally selling cereal to people. I don't know how, it's really hard to explain to my mom. She doesn't necessarily believe that it's only cereal I'm selling, but I, pro I promise y'all, I'm dead serious. It literally is. It's profitable as any. So the hype right now is with small accessories. Just, just keep it with that, all right? Now I'm gonna talk about these because actually it's not that hard to get your hands on these. You can find people on Instagram if you make a reselling account, which a reselling account's account where you can post like hype supreme accessories or stuff you get for less in retail. And then yeah, obviously there's other ways you can get stuff for retail. It's not just like as easy as I said. But once you get stuff for retail, you can then post it on that page. And once you're following people, you follow some people, get your hashtags going, get your posts going and start like trying to get them out there. People start hitting you up in your DMs trying to buy these items if you have good price. And that's what my page is about. Like I leave good prices on my stuff. I recommend you all do the same. It's more people attracted. Now I'm not saying throw off the market completely, but be reasonable. All right. Like I give deals. Like I was selling this cereal boxes for ten dollars each, right? And I got each one for like three dollars. So I'm making like seven dollars on each cereal box, and I sold like twenty five of these in a day. All right. So twenty five times seven. That's how much I made off the cereal, and I don't have to pay for shipping either because I know a free shipping method. Basically, what I've been doing for the cereal is basically you get these cereals at Walmart, right? And you get them off people on Instagram. Now you can go to your WalMarts, but they're pretty much sold out everywhere. Like I went to mine yesterday. I went to a super Walmart, like the huge ones. I went there and literally there was just a section of Reese's Pups completely empty. Like there was regular ones, right where the Travis ones were, and then more Reese's Puffs, and literally was just completely empty. So you're having to buy these all offline. And I'm not saying you can buy them on Walmart, just because they're in-store on Walmart doesn't mean they're gonna be online. If they did an online drop, there would've been a whole sneakers thing, and they, everybody would've been talking about it, you know? But that's not how it is. So basically, you're having to buy these off people online. Now make sure those people are trusted resellers, and make sure that you're giving good deals. Come there uh, to buy in bulk. Like, you're not gonna be able to get one or two of these for cheap off someone. You're gonna have to at least buy like five, and then start selling off that. That's what I, I got five of these, off someone for like 30 bucks uh, which is not that bad and then I started I sold each one of those for 15 so I started actually a little bit higher and then I dropped my price because then I was able to buy more with the profits I used from that from the other see what I'm saying here you start small go big you, and then you drop the price a little bit so you get more people interested like I sold out I sold out of them all right so I have no more right and I still have people DMing me asking me to buy them so if you want that kind of like demand where you still have people asking for more when you're still sold out and now I actually have to go and buy, buy more offline from other resellers on Instagram it's it's not hard and it'll make you a lot of money. The only thing that's annoying is shipping. And well, I know how to get by that. I know how to make it free. So when you make the profit, that's that's all, that's all of it. You get all of it. So that, that's the first method. That's the Travis uh, Scott cereal flip box method. That's why I'm gonna call it box flip method, you know. 
that's how it goes. There you go. That's a really easy one. And that one's current. That one is right now trending. So if you want to get on one that's hot right now, that is going to make you money really quick like that. This is where it's at. These are your boxes. I'm not just, I'm, I'm serious. It sounds ridiculous, but trust me, it may be a bit hard to convince your mom that it's just cereal you're selling. But also there's the really basic method. The Supreme sticker flip method where you find Supreme sticker bricks online. You find them off reseller. You can't find them on eBay or anything like that. So any of the sticker bricks on eBay, those are fake. Don't buy them. All right. I actually tend to get sticker bricks and actually sell them on my Instagram. So you can come to me sometimes and I'll be selling them. I'll give them you for a good deal. That's how it goes. But yeah, basically you can find resellers on Instagram or just put it on your story. Just asking about if anybody knows where you can get sticker bricks. Once you grow your reselling account a little bit, this one I'd say at least have like a few hundred followers. So you can actually ask in your story and find out where. And I would say you're obviously going to have to do a little bit of uh, digging around. Like I would definitely recommend uh, going to the Instagram page sticker steals and looking at just like some of the people he's following. Cause he's got some plugs in there for sure. I'd say I haven't checked, but I would say like, look at, just try and find someone that got the Supreme sticker. All right, and you offer them a deal, try and get like a hundred stickers off them for like $110. If they say yeah to that, then that's cool. Then you can sell each one individually for like $175, $2 online, or you can sell them for way more in person because people just think Supreme stickers are worth like $5 at your school. So you can finesse people at your school if you want. I don't be doing that because I'm an honest man to my people, but if you do it, I absolutely have no hate for you. I respect your hustle. 100%. But yeah, that, that's just how it is. Like you need to make sure you're consistent with posting on your reselling account too. So like when you ask questions, you actually get good answers. Like you find out where the sticker bricks are at. Like just consistently post like stuff, like try and get stuff in. Like it wants you, like if you get the Travis Scott cereal boxes, for example, post those on your Instagram, post it on your store. Start getting people asking to buy them. And remember like just start out by selling them at like 15 each. Like I did this and it worked. Like I'm, I'm gonna do a video. I'm not gonna do a taste testing video because it's stupid. Because there's just still Reese's Puffs. All right, don't be fooled. Don't be dumb. So I'm gonna have 25 of them coming in. I'm gonna do a video for sure unboxing stuff. But like, yeah, that's stuff I've sold. So like, just follow that method. It's really simple. And if this video confuses you at all, I'm sorry. You can DM me and I'll explain it a little bit more in detail. Cause I'll try and write something. But hopefully it's not. Like that's a really easy one. And just also with the consistent posting thing, we'll go back to that real quick. Using hashtags like hashtag Supreme for sale, hashtag sneaker, hashtag sneakers for sale. Just use hashtags so people see your post. And also do shout out for shout out. For first maybe uh, when you're just starting out saying, yo, if you post my Instagram page telling people to follow me in your story, I'll do the same. Just start out doing that, you know? And if you have a personal Instagram with some followers, great. When you make that reselling account, tell people to follow it. That's business. Like, don't be afraid. If you're afraid, you're gonna lose out. I learned that. I was afraid at first. I lost out on so many opportunities. I don't care now. I really don't. I'm not, I don't. And well, we're successful. You just can't be afraid. Take that risk, all right? And, and I don't even know why I'm calling that a risk. This isn't really in a method. This is just like talk. Get good at talking to people. Get good at negotiating. Right? I'm okay at it. I'm not even going to try and talk like I'm some master at negotiating. Like I'll, I'll be like, yeah, to some things. I like, just like, ah, uh, you know, like, I could have done this. You know what I mean? But yeah, just get good at talking with people and you got to get good at convincing them why they should sell it to you for that price. Like you have to have a reason like for everything you say. If you're offering someone, let's say you're trying to buy 10 of the Travis Scott cereal boxes. I'm keep going back to that. Let's say you're trying to buy 10, 10 Supreme stickers off someone or 10 Travis Scott cereal boxes. So for the Travis Scott cereal boxes, you say, yo, I'll pay you 60 and they're like, yo, do that that's way too low I obviously go with them a bit like be like what's the lowest you would do if they say offer then offer like a like i take five to ten bucks higher just you have to start out low with low like i'm gonna say this it's not the greatest thing but start out with low bowing people a little bit go lower on the price a little bit because some people will take it you just you need to notice that some people are going to take a low price so don't be afraid to offer that at all this is i mean it's just important just get good at negotiating like if you have a set amount to make in mind keep that like this is important too when you're selling your items if you're selling a t-shirt for a certain amount and someone offers you way lower and you're not getting any offers don't feel like you have to go take that lower offer don't feel like that's what the t-shirts worth like know how much you can make have that in mind and keep it don't just take the low balls like you can throw people low balls and get the deals and make the money but don't make it the other way around where you're the person taking the else so that's you don't want to be that person. Get good negotiating. Don't be afraid. That's important. That's really the second thing. It's not a method that's called confidence. And also this is this is a method right here, the Grail t-shirt method. I used this one, made me like 200 bucks. It was simple. Basically, I found a bunch of t-shirts on Grail. I offered people really low prices on them, but they were like low condition. They were like t-shirts I need restoring. I got the t-shirts uh, all in, really cheap. And I have five more t-shirts actually coming in. They're, those ones are all fine condition. I don't have to worry about re, uh, restoring those, but I'm about to make a few hundred bucks off those t-shirts because I got them for good deals. I found the under market, you know? You, that's important too. Search the market for good deals. So you have to stay aware, especially on Grill. People throw a lot of deals. Just legit check your stuff too before you buy it because there is fakes on Grill. So you got to stay aware. But there's, but there's fakes everywhere. So just check your stuff, all right, before you buy it. Um, and obviously like a reputable like person too. Like you can't just be buying off like some scammer dude that 
looks sketchy if it looks sketchy at all don't and if it's too good to be true don't yeah the grill t-shirt method basically getting old supreme t-shirts restoring them to like pretty much eight out of ten nine out of ten condition and then flipping them for like thirty dollars more than the original person sold them that's a really easy one you don't the amount of money you can make off restoring sneakers and uh supreme t-shirts that you find on grail is absurd like i'm serious like you can find so many like good supreme t-shirts that people are selling for like 20 bucks like you can offer them like 30 bucks and they'll take it that t-shirt may go for like i found i found a t-shirt that uh i got for 25 dollars supreme ftw shirt stands for it stands for something but i got that shirt for 25 bucks and that t-shirt goes for 120 dollars in size small dead stop and i literally was then able to flip it for like 80 bucks and i bought that t-shirt for 25 bucks and all i did was just clean it up some keep your stuff clean that it makes you money and then also find people that i guess just want to sell their dirty stuff for so low like it was a legit t-shirt i just got the deal so that's one method to searching for t-shirts on grail that you can restore and make you a lot of money i promise you and yeah just this is another one right here the importance i'm key i have a list right here the importance of staying up to date and holding items i've made some big mistakes all right if you think a supreme item is going to go up in value you think a heavy is going to go up in value please don't sell it like seriously keep it trust yourself i made that mistake with the supreme item uh i sold it for like 250 and now it goes for like 900 don't take the L like your buddy did. All right, all I had to do was literally wait like a few months and I'd have made like 700 bucks more. My fault. And yeah, staying up to date too, staying with the current relevant information that's going on, like what stuff is about to drop. That's so important. Having good bots and stuff like that, that's a separate video, but it's so important. Like if you don't have like, if you're not staying up to date on what's selling and what's trending, then you're not gonna know what stuff you can resell. Like you have to be good with that. So make sure like, see like I caught on the, the cereal boxes. That is, that's staying up to date. Your sneakers dropping, staying up to date. Supreme Week, staying up to date. Know what's dropping and what you can flip. And like, may even make a list of stuff that's about to drop and be like, okay, I'm gonna get this much of this. This is how I'm gonna do it. Contact people that can maybe secure you pairs in store if you don't take it online. Like, it's, it doesn't. It's not that easy. Like as I'm saying, it is, but you can do it. I've done it. Um, but that's pretty much all the methods I've been using recently to make me a lot of money legally. All right, I'll put that out there. Yeah. So y'all can do these too. I just thought I would share for this video. So let's roll that outro. Anyways, though, that's how you do it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Tristan again. If you want to go follow my videos more, go ahead and subscribe below. Go follow me on Instagram. All that's in the description and down below. I'd appreciate any of that. And also, maybe hit that bell where you're down there. Basically, the bell next to the subscribe button. It keeps notifications off for my videos. So you'll get your boys' videos and YouTube won't be blocking them. You know, I don't think they're doing that too much for me anymore. They, they used to be on that and I emailed them and stuff and we got that figured out. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. That's 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 how you do it. I mean, it's, it's like some parts of it are difficult and a little more complicated. So sorry if I didn't do the best job explaining it. But some parts are, are really as easy as I said. Like you just buy them off someone, get them and sell them for more. And that's all you do. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Drop a like. Let's even hit over 100 likes for this video too. Because I know more 100 y'all going to watch that. that. Watch this video. It's not a flex or anything. I'm just saying. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'm Tristan. I'm going to see you on the next one. Peace out.